and a welcome to the 1st of February. It's my birthday month. We are on our way just now for a wee photo shoot. I know it sounds very glamorous. Actually, we are off to do a wee photo shoot with Rico, dressed in his chef's gear, and a local butcher because Rico has been uh, cooking up some of his delicious dishes for him at his shop. I will vlog when we get there and I'll show you the front of the shop. They actually have two shops. They have one in Blantyre, where we're off to just now, and they have one uh, in Lanark. Rosebank. In Rosebank, is that Lanark? It's yeah. down the Clyde Valley, but it's not Lanark. Okay, it's, it's down the Clyde. Lanark. Okay, it's down the Clyde Valley. And um, yeah, so the, the meals have been um, really popular and they were actually our signature dishes in the restaurant as well so you know our customers and you know people within this area are quite familiar with them so anyway that's where we're off to just now so exciting times yeah I, I'm as usual I'll be behind the camera but well, not as usual because you know me I like to be in front of the camera as well but um, you know when it's to do with Rico, I, I tend to be behind the camera and do all the hard work. <laughs> I, keep, I keep telling you all this, just somebody might kind of get it, you know. Anyway, we'll catch you at the uh, butchers. Okay, we have arrived. I have my hood on because it's the weather is terrible. So here we have the butchery right here. So here we go, Strunk and Craft Butchers, run by a husband and wife team. And the colour. Here we go. Hi, Hi how are you? Yeah. Here we have Nicola right here. There we go. Hi. <laughs> Stephen's not in at the moment. Is he not in? All right. All right. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> you got me. Yeah. I think we should be obviously promoting your meals. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. I think it's the 2nd of February. Um, I think it is, isn't it? Uh, vlogging is all over the place. I was just going to let me just check the date, make sure it is. Yes, it's the 2nd of February. So, vlogging's going to be a bit of a mishmash, a bit like my channel. Yeah trying to kind of expand the business at the moment so we're just trying to get into um ready meals for want of a better word doesn't sound good ready meals does it but basically cooking our recipes ready for your kitchen is the idea behind it so we do all the hard work and um you just enjoy. It's basically the kind of what we're trying to launch at the minute. So we're really, we've been really busy with that. So yeah, trying to promote that and all that. So that takes up a lot of time. So let me do a quick outfit, just leisure wear today. So these are my kind of corduroy trousers that I got from Topshop, which are really comfy and just nice for wearing so you can tuck in the jumper kind of tidy it up more like that if you like or just leave a jumper out this was just a, a pre-mark jumper which actually washes really really well so um basic outfit that's what i'm wearing this sunday just chilling just put a washing on and i haven't managed to get my makeup on this morning and yeah just chilling just uh i'm gonna do my nails actually rico's out i've tidied everything up the washing's on so that's not due to come out i normally do my nails last thing at night but um i couldn't be bothered last night and they weren't really needing done but um they do now <laughs> got a splitting headache today i don't know if i'm dehydrated i keep drinking water And I need my inhaler today as well. I'm kind of writing down every time I need to take my inhaler. But do you know when I needed my inhaler? It was really strange. I was uh, watching um, this... Oh, 
I was watching this thing on Facebook about a wee girl's um, life support getting switched off and how her parents had donated her organs and I, and I was like, oh, oh, and I was, I was if I couldn't breathe, I needed to take my inhaler. So um, that's why I took my inhaler today. So I'm still enjoying my Gucci purse. Do you know, I'm saying random things because I can't actually remember because my vlogging's been so intermittent. I don't know what stage. I think the last time I vlogged was when we went to the butchers yesterday. And I think I cut that short as well because I was trying to get live footage on the Facebook page and all that. So I kind of cut that short, the vlogging. But I think I got the outside of the shop and us entering in the shop. So that's what we're up to. I'm kind of feeling flat, but I'm not. I'm actually... Should we go for a chit-chat? Should we go for a chit? I don't have a glass of wine to have a chit chat. Should we go and get a glass of wine? Oh look, I've been organising all of this as well. This is organised, by the way. And oh, I'm so happy that I've I've kind of worked out um, what agenda. I've, I think I did. I talked about agendas before. Um, what works for me and what doesn't. And I I think I had showed this one that this is the type. This was just a cheap agenda. I've just it up. Look, I've stuck. That's just a. A Chanel bag that I've stuck on the front of it that I can kind of use for receipts if I want or I can even put my pens in there but I just simply put it on there just to jazz it up this just sits here on my desk all the time so I have organizing all of them how I'm going to use them and of course I had to put a little um, nail varnish uh, box that was just one of the no that was the last color I got the Mirage box to the nail varnish so I just stuck that there and then just stuck some stickers just to remind myself there on the front of it that says relax and then things that I love like family and of course the nail varnish Chanel there we go and just a wee motivational sticker you can do it and then my workouts and of course my name and then organize just we stitch it just we stickers to um to jazz it up so i now know that this is the kind of thing that works for me so a whole day on a page is what works for me the only you've got saturday and sunday here that's kind of sharing a page but um yeah this is this is generally what works for me and different coloured pens. I like to use different coloured pens because it just makes it look nice and it just separates everything. So basically, you'll see here, that's like my to-do list of the day. I've even started writing down actually what I eat in a day just to keep track of it. And then I like to write down if I've uploaded a video because that's not a to-do thing for me because that's a hobby. So that's a bonus if I get to do that. And then I like to write down if I've taken my inhaler and I also write down no alcohol because because if I write down no alcohol, then I won't take alcohol. It's so easy just to say I'll have a glass of wine with my meal and then end up doing it on an everyday basis. So if I write down in my book, um, do you know, I, I don't know if I'm focusing because my contacts need changed today. I'm really not focusing very well. So if I write down no alcohol, then that, it's, I know when I sit down for my dinner, it's no alcohol that day, So which basically means a glass of wine so um trying to kind of not have even if it's a glass and you know more often than not during the week unless i'm meeting somebody or you know you know it's generally a glass of wine with my meal but i'm trying to even stop that and just kind of um have water more water Talking of which, I'm gonna go and have some more water. Don't know what's wrong with me today. I feel I had allergies and all that this morning as well, which probably could have added to the fact that I needed my inhaler. So um, it's not bad water, by the way. My throat's feeling a bit <sighs> that way. <clears throat> so what was it? I was gonna chat about something in here. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like the fog is lifted um 
after my mum had died and you don't realise there's a fog there until it starts to lift. That's because I didn't realise, I didn't realise that there was a fog until now I'm, I'm starting to feel a, more like myself. You know, and I had started off this year and I knew 2020, I just had a good vibe about 2020. But it started off, wasn't well, I took that couldn't breathe attack, which left me even more panicked, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden now, the fog is starting to lift. And the funny thing is, Kelly, my daughter-in-law, she says to me, I feel as if we're getting Andrew back. So I don't know. It just, you know, as is life, we have good days, bad days, and all of a sudden I'm just starting to feel that way again, that it's starting to lift, that fog is starting to lift, so I hope it doesn't come back. See, it's the only way I can explain it, I'm starting to feel motivated again, and yeah, more like Andrew. I think, I think, I kind of felt like that at the beginning of the year and then like I said with being unwell and all that, I'm, I'm repeating myself, I know, right, oh shut up, it's probably wine time, <laughs> doesn't say no alcohol on a Saturday, on a Sunday by the way, <laughs> or a Friday, let's get all these books away and um, yeah, so generally all I need in my life to organise me is my this book here I would love it if it had a, a, a little V kind of cover on it but that works we're just gonna put that wee um, Chanel um, fake Chanel thing on it anyway that's the bookmark on it so that's what I need this is my one that I use in my bag I use a to-do list like that only for Cyprus. I have a list in my kitchen which I've always had where as soon as something runs out, for example, if we run out of tomato ketchup, then you write it down on the list. You run out of washing powder, you write it on the list. So that's our shopping list and we always have one of them in the kitchen. Even when the boys were young and they would add, we need chocolates, we need crisps or, or whatever. Um, and I have this here for my YouTube. So for me, it doesn't work to put um, everything in a diary, in a to-do list, and that doesn't work for me. I need I need them separate. So that's my to-do things on a daily basis. Like I said, it's that's my day-to-day -day diary. It sits here as I walk past. I always fill it in, and I've also started putting in just a little tiny section three things to be thankful for just in a wee tiny section I've started adding that it's basically thank you God for it. that's how it is for me then I have this which I started ages ago and then I came away with it and I was putting bits here and bits there which was for me too messy so I have this which I did a long time ago and I've I've got back to it now so I have a section here for requested videos so if somebody requests something in the comments I write it down in that then my next section here I have my tag videos which you know the list is endless it goes on and on and on and on which I need to catch up with look at this it's my tag videos and then that's notes for my videos which I scribbled down on an old diary and then put them in here. Then here I have my video ideas. I'm just kind of walking about and an idea comes into my head. I kind of come and write it in here and try, or try and remember to write it in here. Then the next section is notes. And then I bought these pockets and I just kind of put punctured two holes in so they would fit in here and in here I have all, any letters any cards or anything that I have received from my people that I've met on YouTube have probably now become like real friends in here I put like uh, business cards and things with people that I've worked with on my channel or promoted or 
that I've worked with on my channel so I keep all their business cards and things in there people that have sent me things to promote and whatever so very organized and kind of you can see I like my stickers and I like my name <laughs> I love things that are personalised. Talking of which, I need to show you this. Right, this is when you know your friends know you really, really well. So my friend, Lux and Roses, she kind of saw this. I think they promoted on Instagram, she did, and she says, I just thought about you. She didn't tell me. I, I just received it through the post from her. Here it is. So it's a bottle, a lovely bottle like that. And she's personalised it with Andre's Zoflora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's just, see, that's just me all over. Love my Zoflora and uh, love anything personalised. How lovely is that? So that's when you know your friends know you well. So uh, take some more water. I've got water upstairs and water downstairs. actually need to bin this cup it's broken I dropped it the other day spilt water all over it so the inside of the cup you can see there it's cracked and then the inside has come apart from the outside so I really need to bin it and I've got a coffee going on there I love this cup this look I think I've showed you this before but this is a cup that a friend of mine got me it says let your hair down how cool. Right, I'm going to go and do my nails now. I think I'm going to do white. By the way, that video that Ruth put up on my channel, I keep telling her to start these videos on her channel, but she just hasn't got the time to sit and edit and all that. But um, I had just, the, the idea came randomly because I was trying to curl my hair, I put it on my stories, and then I got a whole load of requests. And I had said, I think I'm going to have to get Ruth to come and show me how to curl my hair. Then I got all these requests through my Instagram that they would love to see that, and it's really pr proven to be a popular video. So I'm trying to encourage Ruth to kind of do that on her channel to kind of show how to do styles on herself because uh, I think it's really good. Even I, she said to me laughingly in the video, you should maybe watch this back, it would help you. And actually when I when I was editing it, I kind of started to get it when I was watching her show me how to do it. So if you want to curl your hair and you haven't seen it, make sure you watch that video because it's really quite a good video. So um, yeah, I think I'm, she doesn't do it on her own channel. I think I'm gonna get her back on mine to show us uh, more styles. Somebody requested to show how you dry your hair simply from wet to dry with a dryer, which again, in a sense, pretty simple, but to get it looking smooth and nice and yeah, I mean, I can't do it. Like I said, I, I need to go to the hairdressers, but um, looking at Ruth said did put me in the notion to get maybe a few kind of extensions in my hair my hair is quite long it's kind of trimmed shorter in the front and then kind of goes longer at the back here we go so